four. Hey guys, uh, before we start the video, I want to apologize for the fragmented, uh, you know, parts of the video. Uh, some of them might be out of order. Um, I was waiting for pictures to come in uh, and just be respectful for the family. Um, and I did speak with the family. I had lunch with them. Incredible people. Scott and Janet are great people. Um, I didn't put them on camera. I just wanted to talk to them. Uh, so the following video you see, we'll see is the day of meeting them. Uh, and then I uh, just got pictures the other day, so I wanted to share this with you all uh, as soon as possible. Um, but like I said, uh, you know, before John was an incredible individual. Um, he hung out with astronauts and tested stuff for NASA. He found he was he searched for nuclear weapons we lost off the coast of Spain. Um, the guy was incredible, real life Forrest Gump. But I think he was better, personal opinion. Uh, so enjoy the video. Um, and I will look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Thank you. <clears throat> hey guys, <clears throat> uh, Wisconsin Veteran, episode five. Uh, hey, it's uh, January 3rd, 2019. Uh, I hope everyone had a great New Year's. Today's gonna be a real special episode, something that I've been working on, uh, kind of just on my own privately for a little while, but. I'm gonna uh, request some help from local uh, organizations and stuff. Uh, so, a few months ago, I came in contact with a shadow box that belonged to a Navy SEAL. Um, and it had just ribbons and medals. And, you know, I wanted to know if this is a real box. I wanted to know if this is a real story. You know, there's a lot of uh, stolen Valor cases out there. And I did my due diligence and I, you know, the rack had a silver star bronze star, purple heart, numerous Vietnam campaign medals, uh, and I really wanted to just make sure that this really belonged to someone important. And, and I did my due diligence, I did my investigations, and I found the rightful owner of the box. Unfortunately, the veteran passed away three years prior. Now what's crazy about this box is that this, was, this shadow box was found in the trash by a local community member. It was given to my friend that I used to work with and he just didn't have time to look into it. So then he gave it to me and then I did my, my, my investigation and I presented all my evidence to the local county veteran service officer up here in Outer Gaming County, Wisconsin. And we found the, we found the Navy SEAL, um, you know, and uh, he, you know, like I said, he passed away, but then I got in contact with the son. And the son was more than elated. Um, the son and his wife was more than elated. And uh, so today, I'm meeting the son. For the first time, I am meeting the son and his wife, and I'm gonna give the box back. Um, unfortunately, they're in town um, because his mom passed away. And I think giving this box back is going to give him you know, positive feelings and positive reinforcement, something that he needs, something that's tangible. His mom found out that the box was found before she passed and she was very happy. And I have the ability to go see him and his wife and talk to them and just be a part of the family. And um, I'm really, really excited. So um, this is gonna be a special episode. Let's go for a drive. 